What's up guys? It is your boy Big Ryan 16 back when another video to drop. You guys already know what I'm saying. You guys you know what I'm saying. It is Black History Month. So had to pull up the hat. You guys know what I'm saying. Black History Month, you know, free the brothers. And today we're gonna be reacting to eBay's disturbing listings by Morbid for fun. So last time I read some more for fun, I did it with Shojin J3, and you guys really enjoyed the reaction. No wonder, no wonder, no wonder. Did not realize. So much so that Morbid actually commented on the video saying like we were actually pretty funny. So I decided why not react to more of his videos, and he uploaded this about yesterday. So uh, yeah, we're gonna react to this. And since eBay usually sells a lot of stuff, I feel like we're gonna be seeing a lot of disturbing stuff like murders, murder, murdering weapons and like guns and shit. So guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please grab the bell on us gonna notify when I upload a new video comment. What do you guys want me to react to next? So guys, let's get into the reaction. eBay has been around since September 3rd, 1995, with many people selling on the platform. There's no surprise that there's possibly millions of items sold each day, and a handful of those could be items that hey, are. Hey, I'm gonna be very honest when I say I I, I like to shop on eBay sometimes. Sometimes you can be finding something dollars. that you really want that's video, full price, but sometimes you can find it for very cheap. Items sold on eBay. Welcome back to another video. Before this one starts, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on my other social media. You guys already know what I'm like saying. Like the video. You guys, since you clicked for the video top. Topic. So let's just get straight into it. Murder abilia. Murder abilia or murder bilia refers to collectibles associated with murders, homicides, and individuals responsible or other. Yep. <laughs> I was gonna expect that. I think I said that in the intro. Yep. I was like, yep. There's gonna be a lot of murderous types of like uh, weapons and or stuff or like murderous types of clothing from I don't know villains or all that. Because I feel like you know. Sometimes if you want to buy like a murderous weapon, you're definitely going to eBay because no, literally no one's going to sell your information. Their violent crimes. The term was coined by Andy Kahan, who serves as a director of the Crime Victims Office at the Houston Police Department. Collectors directly seek items that have a direct connection to murders, such as artifacts they owned or used, as well as items like artwork created by these individuals. Almost anything linked to mass murder or serial killers including vehicles weapons used in crimes and yep. even clothing worn during the commission of crimes can be holy. sought after and traded in this market some holy grails from this niche hobby are items such as jeffrey dahmer's real worn glasses jeffrey Wait, dahmer's what? real urn john wayne gacy's pogo the clown paintings and real clown suits and most notably ted bundy's volkswagen that carried multiple of his victims as you why is someone carrying a jeffrey Dah dahmer stuff hold up Wait, is this is this family or friend selling it? Ho ho why is jo okay 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 what what the? F not gonna hold you. I was not expecting that. Hold up, I I know it was gonna be weapons, but clothing like Jeffrey Dahmer stuff. Like uh, I mean, okay, I I would kind of question why would you really want that? Not gonna actually. Let's continue the video. He'll probably explain it, but I would question the hell can tell why someone would want that. Weird hobby, and some people argue that buying these items are low key glorifying the which is a very bad thing to do. However, the examples that I listed were not sold on eBay, but instead third-party sites and donated to museums. Oh. On eBay, you could find items such as real crime scene photos, signed serial items, and old newspapers you, talking about their crimes. That? But one specific sold eBay listing caught my attention, and it's this jacket that was allegedly worn by Jeffrey Dahmer. This item was sold on May 2nd, 2016 by eBay seller. Ah, uh, so very old. The description reads, I was in the same class as Dahmer at Revere High in Bath, Ohio. In our senior year, I was in a comedy act in our varsity show at Revere and needed an army jacket for the sketch. Dahmer loaned me this one from his car. When I tried to return it after the show, he said to just keep it. He didn't want it back. Some of us remember him wearing this occasionally. This coat has been in my parents' home in Richfield, Ohio until last year when I sold the house. Now I'm selling it because no one in my family wants it around. The eBay listing was an auction and the winning bid for this jacket was $150. Dollars, giving the description the. Why did you keep it for so long? Actually, order, let me not say it. Let me not say that because sometimes people be keeping like long, like items for very long because like you know they want to remember their friend because they don't see them no more or they're dead or something like that. But like Jeffrey Dahmer, 
you know, I, I think it's pretty obvious why his parents don't, like, want to around him. It's because, like, you know, it's linked to a murderer, so, like, you know. But, like, God, 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 God damn. Like, just, 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 the benefit God, of God the damn. Doubt, this is a pretty chilling story, considering that Dahmer just gave them a free jacket. But is this story even true? Honestly, who actually knows? Actually, could be fake. It, 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 it actually could be fake. I actually true. wasn't thinking about On that. On Reddit, there was a discussion about this very jacket talking about its mm. authenticity. One Reddit user asked, if there are any photos of Dahmer wearing that jacket, and it got a reply back from this Reddit user. The Reddit user said, Both Dahmer and his former friends have said he often wore a standard army jacket in high school. On the page, this jacket was listed to be sold. The seller gave all sorts of verifying information except their name, which would be the most important to claim authenticity. They claim their name is included in the biography of Dahmer, but that could, could be really anyone, be actually. anybody, and doesn't precisely authenticate the jacket's history without verification. It could be Dahmer's, or it probably isn't. Who the hell would hang on to a jacket for presumably 30 plus years? You can buy old army jackets at any thrift store. See, that's what, I, that's what I'm saying. No who, who would actually keep it for very long? Jacket. Like, unless you got it from a friend, then I'll probably understand, but it's like, definitely Dahmer, really? Derf back derf's art. There are several photos of him in this jacket, which is similar looking to an army jacket, but does not have the breast pockets. I and mean, it could be a symbol fake. On the left it could back. be a different one. He wore an army jacket while in the army, of course, and there is this picture wearing his jacket in the barracks. This does not line up with the original seller's story about the jacket from high school, of course. And additionally, Dahmer burned his greens very quickly after returning to America from Germany. Sigh. I've done too much research on this dude over the years, so thanks for coming to my TED Talk. If anyone else wants to chime in with some speculations, please do so. From the looks of it, it seems that the Reddit user doesn't fully know if the story is true or not. But if this story is somehow true, then this it sounds it, 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 it sounds a little bit fake to me. Ghost in a jar. On June 5th, 2003, it sounds a little bit fake to me. A listing appeared on the site. This listing was allegedly selling a ghost which is trapped inside a jar. The description reads: Back in the early 1980s, while out metal detecting. I came across an old abandoned cemetery with the foundation of a home site or church or something nearby. While searching around the foundation, my detector indicated there was something in the ground close by the southwest corner of the foundation. After digging down about two feet, my shovel struck a wooden box that had nearly rotted out. The metal hinges and hasp were about all that was left of it. I thought I had discovered a fortune. Boy, did that ever turn out to be wrong. There were two jars and an old journal in the box. The jars had some strange writing and symbols on them. While getting the jars out of the ground, I dropped one and it broke. A black mist or something seeped out of it. I finally talked to someone who is versed in these things and what is the told hell? me the only way to get rid myself of this thing was to pass the unopened jar onto someone else. Therefore, I am offering it to you, if you dare, the ghost in the jar. With it, I am sure you will be getting the black thing also. If you are brave enough to want this, bid to your heart's desire. Right off the bat, this sounds very sketchy and is probably I was say, well, I was say, you capturing ghosts now? What is this, Danny Phantom? The danger is that somebody what? actually bidded in this auction, and the winning bid was $50,922. Damn! Now, mind, Who actually- Just because you win an auction, it doesn't mean you have to buy it. So there was a winning bid for 50 k but there's a chance that the bid was fake, and they never actually bought the ghost in the jar. Oh, about now, to say really like more information like you, the, the story the can jar, actually be fake like let's be honest thing and that there's a book about this jar called ghost in a jar the story by tommy johnson and the black thing the ebay sensation that rocked the internet and captured the imaginations of millions of people around the world that, readers must decide book? for Hold themselves up. whether the ghost in the jar is a hoax or one of the most disturbing paranormal cases ever recorded look ghost i am not gonna bother to buy the book and read it but i assume that this story is fake however there was a real list all right well the first thing you'll see is the um rick and morty thingy but oh okay i gotta research this after this i got to or is it just a hoax creepy haunted dolls for this entry i will be talking about different listings of wouldn't be shocked i'm gonna be very honest i would not be shocked if like a creepy like haunted doll would be listed on here like have you ever have you guys ever seen like those videos of like toys just moving and then sometimes you kind of question if it's actually real or fake
like sometimes you give like you could tell it's it's either fake but sometimes you just be questioning okay is this actually fake like is it actually fake so like honestly i would not be shocked if someone bought a doll from ebay and then it turns out to be haunted like i would not be very shocked like they don't even mention it you just buy it it looks creepy and then it starts doing some creepy shit, and then basically you're, you're basically just at that point because you already bought it dolls some are just creepy while some are allegedly haunted first doll i want to talk about is this doll with burnt out eyes okay yeah that definitely looks haunted like basically it, it looks like a regular baby auction, but then someone did something to it like you know he did like uh, a sid type of murder to the toy this and now it's just haunted 10 inch absolute creepy baby doll that i found in the bottom of the south river while out kayaking a few months ago it was found about five feet away from a backpack filled with clothes but no ID and was sitting there for God only knows how long as the material of the clothing all but completely fell apart while lifting it. This is by far one of the creepiest dolls I've ever seen and there have been times that I've entered the room that she is displayed in and she seems to be positioned differently at least once a week. Whether you're using this as a Halloween prop or just have a fancy for the ultra creepy, please get this thing out of my house. I'll even include free shipping as thanks for doing so. Thanks for looking and good luck bidding. Okay, like how much did bid for this? Nobody participated in this auction and this doll was never sold. Another okay, doll never mind. That was sold on eBay is this haunted bartender doll. The item sold on is May 7th, 2014. Okay, it's not Christmas. I was about to say. The description reads, This battery operated bartender doll comes from a collection of haunted items that have been given to me to sell for a friend. My friend had a relative pass away recently and this deceased woman was heavily involved in the occult. She was a witch of dark magic from Lilydale, New York. Lilydale what? is a town close to where I live. That is an area that many people of whom are psychics or witches live. Mm. It is very famous for those residents. I am told that this item apparently moves on its own even though it has no batteries in it. It's old and in rough creepy shape. Honestly, it just gives me the creeps and I don't like the energy it gives off. Finally, the last doll that I want to all right so uh, let's be very honest i feel like there's gonna be a st um uh looks like he's moving on but i feel like there's gonna be a story like behind the doll and basically the reason why it's haunted is because the person that used to earn it is basically just in the doll hunting or something like that it, that's usually how some ghost stories work sometimes like sometimes uh someone who just died and you just get something from them guess what they're they're basically in the item or basically haunting or something like that because that's usually just how it works sometimes <laughs> Uh, honestly, I would not be shocked if that's how it's. Uh, that's why the doll's kind of haunted. Like, basically, it's just doing that. Like, basically, it's just doing John that. John Wayne Gacy with Victim Doll. John was known for making paintings in jail and even sold a few while he was locked up. The most famous painting he painted was the infamous Pogo the Clown painting, which is a self-portrait of John oh. in his iconic like, clown outfit. He even painted other things such as paintings from Disney movies. Something that I want to note is that this doll was not made by John Wayne Gacy. It was made by a local folk artist. The doll was sold on eBay for $275 on Who October 21st, 2015. It? The description of course they buy it John during Wayne Halloween Gacy too. Doll 12 inches tall, hand painted by a local folk artist, and the face glows in the dark make me an offer once again this is not a creation oh, wasn't a too, yeah but the main yeah. reason why i wanted to mention this doll was because i actually got into contact with the seller i asked them for more oh. information on the john doll which they said they do not have i think they misunderstood me because i didn't ask if they had one now because i was referring to the one they sold back in 2015. the seller also said this i have a pogo the clown gacy painting that's painted in blood the story goes i purchased a set of embalming tools from a Why retired doctor in of Stateville Correctional Center EI, where John Wayne Gacy was imprisoned and executed. He also gave me a vial of dried up blood, claiming it belonged to John Wayne Gacy from the autopsy. There is zero proof that this So wait, is hold up, hold up, this hold up. Amazing, so I recreated the pogo picture using the oxidized blood for the red colors. Just curious, whom did you hear about this from? This really interested me because I only asked if so, so, so is is the pain pain in blood? It, is that painting in blood? Talk about for the love of the game, but damn. Uh, uh.
uh, uh, let's just continue. I don't. I'm not. I'm not gonna question. Let's not question. Let's not continue questioning it. Let's not continue. Allegedly painted with his blood once again. Allegedly, but I was not expecting them to tell me a whole story. Which, not gonna lie, it is pretty interesting if this is true. 18th century child coffin. This oh, coffin coffins. listing ended on eBay on November 3rd, 2013. Oh, no. Listed at one thousand two hundred dollars, but nobody bid it in the auction. The title of this listing was titled 18th century child's coffin the description of the item reads blank has sold this seven times everyone keeps bringing it back to her so she asked me to list this on my computer store she does not have the internet each owner has complained of things happening that did not happen before their purchase things falling off the walls shelves the tv changing by itself turning on and off on its own lights flickering and so on your typical poltergeist behavior it is yeah a that's child the, after that's all. Typical. Now, we don't know if the coffin is really haunted haunted or not but i don't think that this item is actually haunted sure it is creepy that you're selling a child's coffin in the first place but i just find this one harder to believe what do you guys think I wish I could find more answers to this item, such as my my, my god damn it! I wouldn't be shocked if this is actually true, because let's be honest, is no it's a coffin. Registered. So what do you, so what do you expect from a coffin? End, <laughs> it's scary. Celebrities' personal items. It's no surprise that people try to sell celebrities' personal items on eBay. Let's be on. Let's be very. On what in the f god damn? My car is going past. Anyway, yo, I would not be shocked if any of these are basically disturbing because let's be honest you can find something from a celebrity and you'll just be questioning okay this gotta be like a super fan or something like you can find something like i don't know um tom brady sweaty jersey here here's a auction big and then you're just like why would i want a, a sweaty tom brady jersey like i, I want a like a tom brady jersey but not like not like a sweaty one like what the fuck? why 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 do i need that or you'll see it from like a female a female celebrity like so honestly i'm not shocked that this is on here i i would not be shocked but let's see Such it's gonna be something like Jordan i don't know spears scarlet Joe yep Hanson, something like this tissue justin timberlake's french toast etc including so food including food has the weirdest personal item sold on ebay well that award goes to william shatner in case right, what you did do not he sell? know who that is william shatner is a renowned canadian actor with a career that has spanned seven decades he gained widespread recognition for his iconic role as james t kirk in the star trek franchise shatner first portrayed captain kirk in the 1966 debut of the right. TV series and continued his role until his final appearance in the seventh Star Trek film, Star Trek Generation. Hey, I'm not a fan so of Star Trek, but I know I know the Star Trek franchise is very popular, eBay. so like... Believe it or not, but what, what did he sell? actually his kidney stone. In 2006, William underwent... Kidney stone and the year I was born? Stone. Rather than discarding it, William decided to auction off the kidney stone for charity. The stone was put up for sale on eBay, and the proceeds from the auction went to Habitat for Humanity, a nonprofit uh, organization. Uh, uh, it went to somewhere good. Okay, okay. For those in need. The unusual auction gained attention and became a topic of discussion. In the at least media. went somewhere good. The kidney stone at least went somewhere good. I, I thought it was a fan. And the funds contributed to a charitable cause. Although this is an extremely weird item to sell, at least it was for a good cause. It so was for a good cost, at least. It, it was very a good cost, at least. Earth would pay $25,000 for a kidney stone? Well, an online casino called oh, Golden no, bought Palace this? bought the kidney who stone. Who bought it? The casino is known for its eccentric and unconventional marketing strategies, often involving the purchase of unusual items or engaging in attention-grabbing stunts for promotional purposes. In this case of Shatner's kidney stone, Golden Palace saw an opportunity to gain publicity while contributing uh, to a charitable cause. As the proceeds from the auction went to Habitat for Humanity. This casino has a huge collection of weird items, such as Michael Jackson's miniature racetrack, driver license from a theme park, a jar with Brad Pitt and Jolie's molecules. The casino paid a woman $15,000 to legally change her name to Golden Palace, and they bought a grilled cheese sandwich with what? the Virgin Mary's face on it for $20,000. Why? Why? Who, who buys TV. this? They truly buy the weirdest who? things on the internet. And that is the end of the month. I was thinking it was going to be a fan like a Swifty. Thank you guys for watching till the end of this video and go comment down below.
Sam, so that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right, all right, all right. Now, guys, you know that last one, that last one for for all, I was thinking that the celebrity um personal items, it was gonna be something like weird, like a fan pays like 100k for someone's, I don't know, some celebrities like fart some like fart uh fart um smells or some shit like that like i was thinking it was gonna be hella weird but okay at least at least the kid at least the money went to a good cost at least it went to a good cost i thought it was just gonna be a fan they post about it they they do a whole bunch of weird stuff to it and just i was thinking it was gonna be something like this not even gonna lie and then um everything else like the murder i like the murder items like the murderous items i was kind of expecting not gonna hold you including the doll one not gonna hold you because let's be honest a lot of creepy like doll doll slash toys get sell on ebay and other stuff like macario and all that and then the last one the ghost in the jar i wasn't really expecting that and i am gonna hold you like i wasn't thinking like a ghost or anything but uh. so overall i think all, all of these were definitely disturbing and i gotta hold you i feel like there's definitely more more ebay disturbing listings so not gonna lie hold on mor morbid morbid not gonna hold you you could probably do another video on this. You could probably do another video on this. Because I feel like there's definitely, like, more disturbing listings on eBay. Or other stuff. Like, I don't know. Probably check on Craigslist or something, something like that. Where you could find something very creepy. So, anyways, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe the bell on this again if I win. I upload a new video. Comment. What do you guys want me to react to next? So, anyways, that was the video. I'll see you Brussels later. Bye. Hope you